بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأراضين الحمد لله بيف توفيق تو continue our study of inner and outer peace so one part of our discussion alhamdulillah completed about salam as a way of greeting which is not only a wordly or a formal greeting it's a greeting that is practiced in dunya in heaven by human beings by angels even by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also we talked about offering salam even to the people that uh, we may have fundamental problems with them people who may you know try to you know, hurt us uh, quran says aza khatabahum al jahilun qalu salam in laylatul qadr also it is interesting one of the qualities of laylatul qadr which is the greatest night and the greatest time uh, in the year and it is laylatul mubaraka allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights the fact that laylatul qadr is the layla of peace تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر This piece here is very uh, important There are different aspects to it But one aspect of peace is that and this is i think it's very important for us that you know all the angels and the spirit are coming down with the affairs for the next 12 months when it comes to human beings who are led and represented by hujja of time they need peace also we need peace in coming down of all these things so that no satan or vicious jinns can interfere like when allah sends wahy revelation down in every step it is protected bil haqq anzalna wa bil haqq nazal it comes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is al haq and of course in his side there is no falsehood in this channel of wahi also there is no problem so it's received by the prophet also without any change without any other. and then the prophet also has to deliver it with haq okay so n- no one can penetrate into Allah's act of sending revelations in the same way in Laylatul Qadr also there is no interference it's safe it's peaceful from top to the bottom everything is safe and peaceful and it is a great blessing of Allah that our affairs for 12 months are decided in such a peaceful atmosphere which is also laylat and mubarak which is very blessed so if someone asks you what is the reason that islam is a religion of peace and comprehensive peace one evidence among many is to say in the whole year we have one month which is the most important month Shahrun indallahi afdal al-shuhur is the best month 
In that month, there is a night which is the best night. Even inside month of Ramadan is the best month, let alone the rest of the year. And it is better than 1,000 months. And for that very special night, Allah says, this is the night of peace. So then, can anyone doubt that Islam is after peace and Islam you know, prioritizes peace over anything else? No one can doubt this. And then it comes to the best place. The best place would be heaven. We don't have any place better than heaven. When Quran talks about heaven, also highlights that heaven is a place for peace. For example, in chapter 16, verses 20, 126 and 127. A'udhu billahi rajim وَهَذَا صِرَاطُ رَبِّكَ مُسْتَقِيمًا قَدْ فَصَّلْنَا الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمٍ يَذَّكَّرُونَ This is the path of your Lord, which is straight. This is the path of Ubudiyya. Uh, and this would take you to the heights of perfection. And Allah says we have detailed out the signs for those who remember لَهُمْ دَارُ السَّلَامِ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَهُوَ وَلِيُّهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ They will have the abode of peace. Where is better than heaven? There is no place better than heaven. What is the quality of heaven? Abode of peace. So peace is very fundamental for us. And we have to make sure that we are voices of peace, we are peacemakers, we are peace maintainers, peacekeepers, as much as possible. Allah is their wali, Allah is their guardian because of what they have been doing. So when you listen, when you do good things, then Allah is your guardian and takes you to the Allahu wali alladheen amanu yukhruju min al-dhulumat ila al-nur. So he will take you to Daru salam Also, in addition to this ayah, we have in Surah Yunus, verse 25. وَاللَّهُ يَدْعُوا إِلَىٰ دَارِ السَّلَامِ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ إِلَىٰ صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Again, Sirat is mentioned. So, Sirat Mustaqim is the path that would take us to Daru Salam. In Laylatul Qadr, every year, we should make sure that we have, inshallah, the best of plans and taqdeer and decrees from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we build year by year this path towards Darus Salaam. And then about the Quran, again, we have clear connection with peace. And this ayah confirms what I said, that every year we have to you know, move towards peace. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Ma'idah, verse 16, He says, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, Yahdi bihillahu man ittaba'a ridwanahu subul as-salam. Allah guides with the Qur'an. Those who follow his pleasure. So those who are after Rizwan of Allah. Those who seek his pleasure. Okay? Ibtagha amardat Allah as we have in other places. So those who follow pleasure of Allah, they are guided by him through the Quran. So if you want to be guided by Allah through the Quran, you should try to do everything seeking pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything, if we try to seek pleasure of Allah, becomes ibadah. Yahdi bihillahu man ittaba'a ridwanahu subul as-salam. Allah guides with the Quran, people who seek his pleasure, to the ways of peace. Which would end with, finally, heaven. But, salam alaikum. In dunya, 
you have peace, in Akhirah you will have peace. You will have internal peace, you have external peace. وَيُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النور. Allah will take them from darkness to light. So, ways of peace are ways of moving from darkness to light. So, when you have peace, there is light. Or when there is light, there is peace. It's mutual. يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النور بِإِذْنِهِ this bi'idhnihi is very important. Uh, in some lectures I have explained. When something very important in creation, in existence is going to happen, it needs permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even Allah uses for himself. Not only Allah says to Isa alayhi salam, for example, as... Uh, for example, tuhyal mawta bi'idhni or takhruju min al... Not only he says Salam alaykum Not only he says that Miracles of Isa Are biiznillah Not only he says That the Guidance of Rasulullah Is biiznillah Da'iyan ilallah biiznihi Wasirajan munira Even for himself يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُورِ بِإِذْنِهِ So, izn of Allah, permission of Allah, is very much highlighted in the Qur'an. وَيَهْدِيهِمْ إِلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ You have two yahdi in this verb. يَهْدِي بِهِ اللَّهِ مَنِ اتَّبَعَ رِضْوَانَهُ سُبُ لَسَّلَى at the end, yahdiyam ila sirat al-mustaqim. So, guiding to the right path is the same thing as guiding to the ways of peace. Sirat al-mustaqim is only one. You never find in the Quran plural for sirat. You don't find, you know, surat. Sirat is always one. Because sirat is to haq. How many uh, haq are there? Just one. Al haq is one. Alam ahad ilaykum ya bani adam. Allah ta'budu shaytan. Innahu lakum adubun mubin wa ana abuduni. Hada siratun mustaqim. Okay? To be servant of Allah means to be submissive to the truth. It's one way to submit to the truth as a general path. But then, how you Submit to the truth. How you serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in different parts of life. As a child, as a parent, as a sibling, as a husband, as a wife, as an uncle, as a cousin, as a neighbor, as a colleague. With the people you love, with the people you don't love, with the people you agree, with the people you disagree. With other nations. So... We need to be servants of Allah, but in every corner of life, in every branch of life, this requires different things. It's not just you say, I'm a servant of Allah, and you say prayer and fast, and then it's okay. This is not uh, complete. A servant of Allah, when he is a shopkeeper, is different from someone who is not a servant of Allah. Or when he's doing research, or when he's a doctor, he's a nurse, when he's a neighbor, it's different. Servitude to Allah should bring lots of differences to our way of life. And people should see that this is a servant of Allah. This is a person who is working for Allah. <laughs> if people say that you are a source of light, a source of mercy, a source of you know hope, then you can say, I'm a servant of Allah. When people say, you are, not, you are always a source of tension and worries. And you know, when I see you, I am worried. I don't trust you. This is not a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, sirat mustaqim is one. And we all should try to be on sirat mustaqim. But then we have sobul. Sobul is plural. 
This Serat has different parts. Based on the time, but also based on the context. What I am to do as a teenager, what I do as a young person, as a middle-aged person, as an old person, these are all part of Sarat al-Mustaqim. Also, as a young person, in different parts of my life, as an old person, in different relations, different contacts, different parts. So, we have Subul and Sarat. Sarat is Mustaqim. So, it's important to be straight. We shouldn't, you know, go to right or left or return. We should keep going straight. But for this subul, the emphasis is not put on being straight. They are already part of the sarat mustaqim. The focus is on being salam. Subul as salam. So find in every part of your life how you can be serving Allah and be on the right path, but bring peace. Look after your own peace. Don't put yourself into things that unnecessarily you worry. You know, sometimes, you know, maybe as a person who is, you know, young and energetic, you know, sometimes you have to, you want to do lots of things. But you put too much pressure on yourself. There is a Limit in pressure that you can go through and remain, you know, at peace. It's very important. Or, you may, or family remains at peace. Sometimes, you know, people, when they are younger, they have young children, they work very, very hard. Maybe, you know, 18 hours, you know, more they work. They say, you know, I want to make lots of money so that I can send my children to best schools, best universities. But they put too much pressure on themselves. And when family also need them, they are not available. They become ill, relations become negative. They, later they have, may have money, but children have no interest. <laughs> he has lost already his family and children. Because when they were interested in being with you, you were making money for them. <laughs> but they needed you. When you make money, they don't want you. They just need your money. They don't want you. Because you put too much pressure on yourself and put so much stress. When you were home, you were angry, you were upset. You know, you, so you couldn't make a you know, good relation. So in everything, we have to find the balance. How I can remain at peace. It's okay if I am physically tired. You know, I am working, I am active, but not... Losing your peace, not losing your good temper, not losing your akhlaq. And make sure that also you establish peace with people. If you have, I don't know, inshallah you don't have you know, personal enemies, but suppose you have you know, 1,000 enemies, okay? inshallah you don't have. Even if you can make one enemy less, so 1,000 becomes 999 is better. Never say, you know, we have so many enemies in the world, you know, so it doesn't matter, you know. Even one enemy, if you can turn it into non-enemy, is great. If you can make it a friend, it's better. Quran tells us if there are people who do bad to you. Okay, suppose someone, I am 100% sure, and everyone says that this person has done bad to me. It's not my understanding or judgment. Everyone says this person has done bad to you. What should we do? Quran says, Respond with doing good things. It doesn't say, It says, Find even good, better things. Then you may find this enemy became a very close friend. We should try it. We should not say, no, he's enemy, eternally my enemy, and it's <laughs> not going to change. We have to find these ways to establish peace, to overcome enmity and hostility, solve the disagreements, and then we will see many of people are good people. Most of people are good people. Vicious people are not many. Most of people are very good people, but there is no good connection, there is no good communication. Inshallah, 
we continue this discussion with Allah tomorrow. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and our children, our brothers and sisters and friends all over the world to remain always on the right path and to be working hard to establish peace internally and externally. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.